Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a proper video. A long story that I'm going to talk about in a whole other video, um, so subscribe if you want to find out why I've been gone. But I have a spare 15, 10, 15 minutes before I have to leave and I thought very soon we're going to be moving out of this property and I haven't yet done a flat tour even though we've lived here nearly a year so i thought today's the day we're going to do a quick flat tour this is going to be pretty brief a because i don't have the time to go into detail and b like i haven't cleaned up so it is just a bit of a mess but when we move into our new place which again is going to be in this whole other video as to why i haven't made content in time <laughs> because i don't know where we're living currently <laughs> We have like two weeks oh but i'm scary <laughs> so when we move into whatever we're going to be moving into i'll do a much more detailed flat tour at the new place fingers crossed <laughs> no i definitely will this time around um so yeah i thought we would do that today so here we go so this is the front door the letterbox is down there it's actually so annoying that it's down there and it makes it really really loud like i can't explain it when we get post it always makes me jump because the letterbox is really loud then we have the phone that lets people into the building because this is a block of flats and down here i keep some of my shoes i'm standing in the doorway and we have this other bit of a corridor here and also that corridor down there but we'll come to that in a minute so we're gonna start in here which is the messiest room so please forgive but we're gonna start putting things into boxes very very soon so i haven't really bothered to tidy up this room but this is what we use as the study um we are really lucky we have these really nice really big windows which i absolutely love and they bring in so much light and i also use this room to do my makeup and all my makeup stuff is down there currently <laughs> literally just a study i have done some work in here but also you can see my piano is here at the moment um so this is also where i play music and we've just done some washing so that's there <laughs> and it's just basically a storage room there's literally boxes but i've got my camera over there my ring light and then yeah this is all our other camera stuff so if you don't know me and my boyfriend work in film and tv so we have a lot of camera gear and yeah, this is all my makeup, two light boxes. Then on the back of the door, hello, we have this mirror, which it's so annoying with this flat. With this flat, all the doors are opposite the windows. So I wanna be doing my makeup where the light is, but I don't have like a desk mirror. I can't put a mirror like on this desk because I don't have one, or I don't have one big enough that I would want to use. So I have to do it facing this way, like facing the mirror, it's really annoying. But yeah that is this room so this flat is a two bed but this is the second smaller bedroom which we use as a study slash storage room if you're wondering where this desk is from it's from ikea i did a whole ikea haul when we first moved in and yeah it's just quite a mess <laughs> Also, I don't know whose idea this was, but all the hooks are on the backs of the doors, which means if you put like coats and stuff there, you can't open the doors properly. It's so annoying. Um, so we actually put an over the hanging one over the front. Yay. Through here, we have a bit of a storage cupboard with a washing machine. Just done some washing, so I need to unload that. Um, but yeah, this is a really good size cupboard and it holds quite a lot of stuff. Through this door is the bathroom and this door is one of my favourite features in this flat because it's actually a sliding door. I absolutely love that. That's one of the quirky things in this flat. We have our clothes basket here which once we move out I'm probably going to get rid of because it's really really old like so old that my sister bought this when she was at uni like seven years ago or something. Um, so we're probably going to get a new one when we move out. So this is the shower slash bath. Um, it does look really, really good. Admittedly, when we first moved in, the shower was so bad. It used to just drizzle. And like, you look at it and it looks so good, like a really nice shower. It has gotten better over time, but when we first moved in, it was awful. Uh, we've barely used the bath, but it's nice that it has the option for both. Over here, you have your standard toilet. And we also have some cleaning products. 
over here if you watched my I think it was my 1000 subscriber Q&A this is our toilet book go and watch that video if you want to find out what that is got some candles and this was my grandma's and inside we just keep our toilet roll which I think is super super cute and again another one of these really nice massive windows and then we have the sink and basin so much storage like we're so lucky with storage in this place there's a lot and then a really nice mirror and more storage in here too so we're back at the front door now and this is the other hallway more bags and mess on the floor <laughs> so we're going to come into the living room now which is quite possibly one of my favorite rooms in this flat so again you may have seen my ikea haul i will link it but we basically got this and this from ikea and this sofa pulls out into a double bed and it is beautiful i highly recommend the sofa i love it so much although the price has definitely gone up since we bought ours again another massive window and a slightly smaller window over there but both bring so much light into this room over here we have i don't really know what this is it used to have doors I don't really know what happened to the doors uh, but yeah something happened and um, now we don't have the doors my other bass guitar you might recognize this little corner as where i film my musical instruments video and then here we have this shelving unit which was chris's and i'll do a much more detailed thing when we move again then we have our tv and our tv stand and xboxes both are chris's i don't really play the xbox um i got these from poundland i love them they're well cute i don't really do halloween but these were super cute we have our alexa as well and above it we have this piece of artwork that i've made it's filled with all the theater tickets well not all of them but a lot of theater tickets that i own and as you can see a lot of them are actually signed which is pretty cool as well that's rebel wilson's signature from when she was in guys and dolls i actually wish it was slightly bigger um it's kind of a shame it's not that big <laughs> so i might have to make a second one with the rest of the tickets that i own we have this table which used to be my great auntie's chris decided to buy <laughs> this cactus lamp and you can see it's missing a little bit of a thing there that white dot so he actually got it cheaper and then we got this coffee table as well which holds lots of like games underneath and just crap on top <laughs> so yeah that's the living room we spend a lot of our time in here chilling on the sofa from the living room we enter the bedroom so this is our bedroom it's a pretty standard size i would say again messy please forgive all the mess over here we have another one of the smaller windows and we've got another one of the bigger windows behind where we sleep got my little toys there <laughs> and the cat on the bed and my toy from when i was like three years old i used to wear that jumper as well and now it's on this teddy <laughs> we have two bedside tables which is very handy this bed is actually an ottoman which means it's one of the ones that has storage underneath so you can pull it up and there's stuff underneath it great would recommend then we've got this chest of drawers which was chris's family's i think they gave it to us and a lovely photo frame from my mum then we come to quite possibly the two things that i hate the most in this flat <laughs> is our two wardrobes turns out wardrobes are really really expensive and these were the cheapest that i could find and i think they were like 75 pounds off ebay i don't particularly like them at all so i would not recommend i really don't like it and if i could i would get rid of them and buy some new ones but turns out like i said wardrobes are hella expensive for some reason but yeah we have this wall you can see that the wall isn't like all the way back so we've had to get two separate ones um, which is fine but like i said i don't even like these anyway then up here you can see we have our suitcases which is going to be filled with so much stuff when we move out more pegs behind the door which like you can see it doesn't make sense because you can't open the door properly and then finally we enter the kitchen which is another favorite of mine the kitchen in this place is so big and there's so many cupboards and so much storage i absolutely love it like you can like just look at it it's so nice it's got wood worktops and an electric hob which i love makes it so easy to clean and we've got a microwave forgive the washing up that we still have to do <laughs> 
And then over this side, we have a tiny bin. Now you're probably wondering why we have such a small bin. It's because where we live, we have a bin chute. So the idea is, is that if we use a small bin, it should be able to fit down the bin chute. That is not the case. And then in this corner, we have two wooden chairs, which we would use for the balcony, but we've never sat on the balcony, which I'll come to in a minute. And then in this corner behind the door, we have a lovely large fridge freezer, a hoover that came with the flat, and then a mop and a bucket and the Wi-Fi router and stuff to take out. And then over here, you can see this leads out into a balcony. Now I would open it, but it honestly looks really cold. Oh, and the annoying neighbor is over there. So I'm definitely not gonna open it. <laughs> but basically you can see it's pretty grim. Uh, we've never opened this. We've never sat out on it. Like, no, mainly because the neighbors over there are so loud and chavvy and it's just not something I want to interact with. And then we've got a little succulents up here which I actually think are dying. That's not good. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick little flat tour. It was more for my benefit so that I can remember what mine and Chris's first flat looked like because we will be moving out and putting things in boxes very, very soon. Like I said, I don't actually know where we're moving to right now, which is worrying, but there we go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. When we do eventually move into our second place, I will do a much more detailed or if that's what you want. I will also do an empty flat tour of this place and an empty flat tour of the new place that we move into whenever that is gonna be. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. So subscribe if you want some moving vlogs and some homeware content. And I'll see you very soon for a new video. Bye.